Um, I am a staff psychologist. Uh, I work at MSU's Counseling Center, um, which is the center that serves the students who are having some sort of concerns relating to mental health. And how long have you been doing that? I've been there about eight and a half years. Well, I've always been interested in how human beings um, work, like what makes humans tick, what do they think, what do they feel, why, and um, also my father is also a psychologist, so he would come home and talk about his work, and I would really enjoy hearing the stories about that, so um, I thought psychology sounded like something fun and interesting that I liked. And then um, I think I was sold when I um, was a freshman in college and I took my first um, psychology class, Psychology 101, and there were 600 people in it. Um, but I loved it and um, we had opportunities for extra credit and all that. I ended up getting like 106% in that class because I just totally, I totally loved it and I enjoyed what I was doing. Well, I have a uh, bachelor's degree, uh, a master's degree, and a, and a, a PhD. Um, my, uh, actually, they're all in psychology. My bachelor's degree is in psychology. My master's degree is in counseling psychology, and so is my doctorate in counseling psychology. Okay, um, uh, counseling psychology is a, an applied branch in psychology, um, along with clinical psychology and school psychology. And those fields uh, provide services to people directly, and so that's what makes them applied. There are also lots of branches that have to do with various uh, types of research. So there's developmental psychology. Um, actually, there are people in, in my field and the applied fields who also do research. Um, there's experimental psychology and so forth, um, industrial organizational psychology. And um, people in those fields do um, work with um, all sorts of topics, do all sorts of research. Some can be in a lab, some can be with surveys and with people, and um, so more on the academic side of things. Um, you can do a lot of things with counseling psychology. What I do is I, um, I work at the Counseling Center at um, Michigan State University. And so I actually have a lot of activities I do during um, an average day. Um, I'll spend a certain amount of time um, seeing um, students for individual therapy. And these are students who are having some difficulties um, in, in uh, school. I also do training of future psychologists. I lead a seminar and I do supervision of other people's work um, uh, with their clients. Um, I serve on committees, I go to meetings, um, so, you know, I do a lot of different um, tasks. Well, I practice um, several different kinds of therapy depending on what the person I'm seeing um, needs. Um, there's a kind called cogn Cognitive Behavioral Therapy, uh, or CBT for short. Um, I also practice a kind known as Psychodynamic Therapy which gets into, um, we talk about people's lives, like their past, their childhood, and helping people make sense of their experiences, especially while growing up, and um, various other kinds of techniques and strategies and other um, kinds of therapies, but those are the main ones that I work with. Cognitive behavioral therapy deals a lot with, as, as you can imagine from the words, um, it deals with uh, cognition, which is uh, thinking, has to do with how people think, um, and it also deals with how people's behavior. And so kind of looking at um, those aspects and, and working to change um, the things that aren't going well in a person's life. Um, whereas psychodynamic therapy um, focuses less on thinking and behavior and focuses more on people gaining insight into their relationships, particularly from the past, so maybe their relationships with their parents or their families growing up. Well, one of the things that kind of scared me at first was knowing that I would have to take some courses in statistics. And um, in, in my field, that's really important because it's important for us to be able to understand research and to understand research um, and possibly conduct it depending on where we work. Um, you really have to know how to um, analyze it and how to understand it in a way that you can present it to other people. 
So statistics is really important in my field. And that kind of intimidated me because I never saw myself as a person who might be good at that sort of thing. And so um, I, was, I was worried that I might not do as well in, in um, those courses. Um, fortunately, I um, had some good teachers and I worked very hard and, and I ended up doing um, pretty well in those classes. Well, it's interesting because um, for, for like all, pretty much all of humankind, people have been trying to understand what makes humans do what they do and how to predict behavior. And so there have been some really interesting things that people have used over um, the centuries to try to understand people. One example is um, a, um, a practice called uh, phrenology. And what phrenology is, is um, examining a person's head and the shape um, and the bumps on somebody's head to try to understand them as a personality. So um, naturally, nowadays, that has been, our science has shown that that does not predict um, people's personalities very well, so um, we don't practice that anymore, but that's, that's one example. Um, one of the things that's very common that people think about psychologists is that our work involves um, sitting in a chair and having a patient lay on a couch while we write on a notepad and they just talk and everybody talks all about their mother. And um, really, it's, it's very often not like that. And in fact, it's probably not very rarely like that. Um, and instead, what we do is we apply um, strategies and techniques that have been proven um, through um, scientific research as being helpful for different conditions. We have um, a mandate to practice evidence-based practice in psychology, and what that is is to take um, the best available evidence re from research combined with the clinician's expertise and what the client needs and to use all of the information from all three of those um, kind of pieces of information to try to figure out how best to um, treat the person who is coming in for help.